many parents have wounded their children. Very many, very, very many children are wounded um, because of their parents. And when I say children here, I'm actually speaking of people in their 20s, in their 30s, I mean, in their teens, because that's normally the um, age group I work with. On, on average, people from 18 to 40, uh, plus minus a few years, are normally the guys I work with um, at this stage in life could change as I keep going older. And it began bothering me um, because when we began, when we begin unpacking, you begin realizing, wait a minute, people here are having serious wounds from their mothers, very serious wounds from their fathers. And here I'm not speaking about people just shifting blame to their parents for, for things they ought to have taken over. Like I'm speaking about sincere um, wounds by parents. And when I hung out with the parents, and, and in, in, very interestingly, some of the cases of the people um, I need to coach through are individuals who have been referred to me by their parents or by a guardian. And so I know they are well-meaning. I know that the parent you know, didn't do this out of malice. Um, sorry, I have to fight emotion because um, some of the cases are very sad, you know. I, I know the parents are well-meaning, but they have wounded the parent, the, 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 their children. I know some of the parents don't know any better. They have raised their children a certain way because that's the way they as parents who are raised and they believe that's the best way. But they probably don't have enough context or awareness um, or even security to be able to step back and look and say, have I really succeeded? Am I really doing well? Um, Quite a number of parents just believe it ends with um, paying the bills, providing um, food, clothing, um, shelter, and that's it. But no, that's not the entirety 